Welcome back. Joining us in studio, we have Celeste Sashery and Mitch Rotolo. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having us. Yes. I'm, I'm so excited. What's more exciting is you guys <laughs> are partnering. So go ahead and tell us about this collaboration that you guys are doing. Well, so 2022 is Tony Sashery's 50th anniversary. Um, that little green can has been around for 50 years. Wow. And we decided that to celebrate all year long, we wanted to surprise and delight our customers with a variety of partnerships and special events and limited edition offers that really just celebrate the history and where we've come. And we love Rotolos. And there's very few <laughs> things that go together better than grill seasoning and pizza. Who this doesn't is true. love that? This we is love true. working with other Louisiana businesses. And so it just to us was a no brainer. And it's been a very successful partnership thus far. I love this partnership. So, what was it like for, for you guys to team up? We were talking during the break. It's well, been a lot of we, trial we, and error with we, these recipes. We played with a lot of food, we played with a lot of dishes, and came up with some stuff we thought the people would really enjoy on pizza and bread. So uh, Creole it is probably one of my favorite, which you can Creole any dish at Rotolo's. And we have about five signature Tony's items that are on the menu for this promotion and going forward. Awesome, and this is a limited time promotion. It so is. People can have until today, until when to try these out. Well, we're gonna run the, the food is gonna be at every restaurant till uh, end of May. We do have the cups, they're limited time while supplies last, which we designed them to look just like the Tony's I can. I love that. So, <laughs> Uh, they have their 50th anniversary can, can out, so we, we're just we're excited about the, the cross marketing for it, and um, yeah, the food's really good. It's such a great partnership. Now we have some of the items that you guys can get on the screen, and Mitch, you're going to showcase one today. So what one are you going to kind of assemble we're gonna, for us? Well, of course, we're going to make the Cajun bowl pizza. You said this one's your favorite. It's this my is my favorite. favorite. Her so favorite. favorite. Uh, I do like the jalapeno <laughs> popper as well. It's it's by far very tasty. The shrimp bowl pizza's got roasted corn, onions, roasted garlic, boiled oh, shrimp. Wow. So all the fixings that would be in a typical uh, shrimp bowl or crab bowl mm -hmm. or crawfish bowl, we put it on a pizza, put it in the oven, toasting it off, and we'll have some for you to sample in a few minutes. Oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. So what, starts, what goes first on this So pizza? we're gonna sauce it. We're using the Tony's white gravy mix. Okay. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here and then kind of get just kind of spread up here. That's such a And an all this is available in your local <laughs> grocery store or any place else you wanna get it. Nice. And this is, this, of course, the cheese. We have to have the you, cheese. But you sold me when you were talking about the ingredients, the roasted garlic. I feel like so everything is I did, did pre-roast the corn and onions for you, so we don't have to worry about that right now. But in the restaurants, we'll do this every day. Yeah, absolutely. And so, Celeste, you said that this one is your favorite. Oh, yeah. What makes this one your favorite? Is there like a certain ingredient or just the overall flavor? I think it's the creativity of it. You yeah. know, I mean, who doesn't love a seafood boil, but to bring it together with pizza, I think it's just something I hadn't seen before. And know, it's, it's one so of those unique. things that could like maybe go either way if the execution isn't great. But man, the second you take that first bite, you just know. It's oh a home my run. gosh, this is so unique. And you topped it with shrimp. So we're gonna cook this and you're gonna see what a true seafood boil pizza tastes like. I'm excited. Guys, you don't want to go anywhere. We're going to be checking in with them later on this half hour. We're going to try some pizza, but first we get to check in with Adam Olivier. Hey, Adam. Welcome back. We are still here with Celeste Satchery and Mitch Rotolo. Y'all, this looks incredible. I love this, but before we dive into the pizza, I have to ask, how did this partnership start? Well, like Celeste said, their 50 year anniversary and they're yeah. doing a lot of promotion this year to promote that and be proud of their brand. But I actually got involved. Uh, I got very lucky. I was able to marry an Opelousas girl a few years ago who happens to be part of the Sashery family. So I kind of knew from a distance who they were yeah. and with their with their promotion coming up uh, with Bertolo's. We have locations statewide. So it was a good partnership for us to put their products in our restaurants and co market our brands. I love um, that. But that's how it really started. <laughs> <laughs> Two great families. Started for me and Opelousas. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's 50 years for you guys. Yeah. That's absolutely incredible. Yeah, we're really excited. We're now four generations, still family owned, still operated in Opelousas. Uh, we're really, really proud of that. Um, and coming out with new products every year. Uh, my thing I'm most excited about for 2022 is we've created a special anniversary edition of our can that has the label that you all know and love, but also has 
on the flip side, the 1972 version Which of our so label. Cool. So really cool to see how everything's come full circle over the years. I love this, the the old school label. That is just awesome oh, me that too. you guys brought that back. The nostalgia is just really yes. near and dear to my heart. And these are available in uh, major grocers throughout the country th for the rest of the year. So that people can get this yes. all year round. The eight ounce and the 17 ounce can. Nice. Now through the end of 2022. But if you guys want to get your hands on these pizzas, you have until the end of May. End correct? of May. That's right. They'll run through May 31st at all the locations. Okay. And then what's this one that you pulled out? So this is the Cajun hot brown. It's got a spicy turkey with the same white gravy. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that we wanted to focus about on Tony's is that everybody knows the can and the spice yeah. you can put on anything. But they also have a full variety of other items that you can use in your kitchen from white gravies to brown mixes and roux. And so we really wanted to focus on a little bit of everything. But this is probably my favorite. The shrimp bowl that. is the Cajun bowl is. See now I'm perplexed on which one to try. But I'm gonna try this one. You don't have to choose. Because <laughs> I'll just try both. I'm gonna have two pizzas. <laughs> it is fine. Hey Adam, I'm gonna call you out. Do you wanna come try pizza? Oh gosh. I gotta walk over all this way. Just come on. All I right. promise it's gonna be worth it. Pick your pizza. Oh my gosh. What's that one again? This one's got uh, Cajun turkey, bacon, and a white sauce. I'll try that one since. This is really good. Anyway. Oh gosh! I'm trying to reach over the table. I don't want to like. You could have walked in the front, buddy. I, well, you know, it's I didn't okay. want to embarrass myself. I love the white sauce on this. Yeah, it's it's actually it's very unique. You don't realize mm. how much the flavors tie together. That um, mm -hmm. it really, to me, it tastes like a shrimp bowl. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I feel like I'm outside eating shrimp and at a boil with family this and friends. This is really, really good. This is incredible, mm -hmm. y'all. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah. Thank Stay you for having us. us. Of course. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. Taylor and I continue to stuff our face with it's, delicious pizza. We can't stop eating it, mm -hmm. so I'm going to pass this over to Celeste and Mitch. Guys, how can people learn more? <laughs> well, you can always visit us at TonySashery.com or follow us on social, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at TonySashery's. And, of course, Bertolos.com and all the same, the same usual suspects on social media. I love that. You can see more menu ideas and items and uh, learn more about pizzas. both the brands. God, it's so good. Y'all got to try this pizza. <laughs> Stay with us. News 15 at noon continues after this. And you know who else has talent? <laughs> Our friend, friend of the show, Nina Creel. Nina, thank you so much for coming on thank today. Thank you for having me again. Of course. So, we love that. <laughs> thank you. And two, like, this this is a work of art. So you were on a Netflix show. I was. You were. Was. <laughs> you were. But, like... Is this cake or is this is this like all edible or is this macaroni and cheese? You guys tell me. I don't know. I, don't I am know. perplexed. You have the <laughs> burn marks. You have <laughs> like these look like real noodles. This looks like a real bowl. Mm -hmm. Nina, how do you do this? Magic. I have so you are a magician. <laughs> I was telling you this during the break. I don't fully comprehend. Like I can eat this. Oh, yes you can. And it tastes really good. Promise. I'm scared. <laughs> you know, we, we tried mac and cheese ice cream. Oh. Now this is mac and cheese cake. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know about mac scarred. and cheese ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> don't compare that to my <laughs> mac and cheese uh, cake. So Nina, <laughs> what, what do you do to create something like this? Yeah, so for something like this, it's actually all edible. Okay. Uh, right, so we want to start off with a mold, and you'll see like some of these techniques on the show as well. So I start off with something like a plastic, um, uh, container and then you melt some chocolate chips we call them okay yeah you melt oh, that out and then you kind of pour that in there and it takes the shape of the actual thing you're pouring it in now do you want it to be like a dense thing or like hollow um hollow okay because you want to put some cake in, you want to have some cake this in there true. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly so you make it a little hollow you may thicken up the sides a little bit um but definitely hollow it comes out easy and then once that done once that's done you place some cake inside that actual part um, and then we'll pour some chocolate ganache. And if you watch the show or when you watch the show, you'll see I'll mention ganache all the time. I feel like a lot of bakers use ganache. Yeah. I watch a lot of baking Oh shows. my gosh. It's so much <laughs> easier to work with and it tastes great. So yeah, we love ganache. And so as you can see, I've dyed some white ganache in a it yellow. It looks like mac and cheese. Exactly, <laughs> it's exactly right? Like okay. I don't know if it's a good cheese. Are but you sure that's not real cheese? Nina? Yeah, well, like what? you'll taste it later <laughs> and we'll find out. <laughs> um, but then you want to pour that on um, your cake base. Okay. And once you do that, 
Um, you want to start on your noodles as well. And what I have here is like a piece of fondant that I've dyed yellow. Okay. Um, you can also use modeling chocolates. So do you like you hand make all yeah, of those noodles? Yeah, I did. I did. So yeah, we'll do this thing where we'll roll it like in a long type of log or whatnot. Yeah. And then I'll cut little pieces from there, right? Okay. And then you'll curve it. Wait, just can like I make one with you? Yes, yes. Okay, please. wait. <laughs> okay, okay, just kind of roll, roll it, it out. Yeah. My noodles are not gonna be good. It's okay. Noodles aren't made perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Not all. Need on this Monday. <laughs> and okay. then you'll take your little tool and kind of cut right here. Okay. Yeah. Cut it. And okay. then curve it, Taylor. Curve and that's, it just that's like literally a, it? Yeah. And then if you want it even more authentic, you'll take this little tool. We call them sugar shapers here. Okay. Um, and then you'll place Do like the little, little indents. holes in there, right? Because oh. we're all about the details. We That's, are all about you know. the details. I love this. <laughs> and we're going to talk more with Nina later on this half hour, so don't go anywhere. But in the meantime, let's check in with Adam Olivier. Welcome back. We're hanging out with our favorite, Nina. So good to have you here. So you taught me how to make macaroni. I did. Bad <laughs> She's great. You did well. Oh my She's gosh. You're so all, I may hire you, Taylor, if you're ever looking for another I job. I mean, <laughs> hey, not the best, but I will help you out. So how we so once you have the macaroni, yes. How how many macaronis did you make for the topping of this? Um, about a cup. Um it took me about an hour, but we got through it. We made it. A lot of rolling. Oh yeah. my gosh, girl. <laughs> so after you make the macaroni, mm -hmm. you assemble it. What's kind of like that next process Yeah, for you? so before we pour some ganache, and then we put the mac and cheese on top of that, and then we put some more um, ganache on there for the cheese. But then my favorite part, Taylor, this gives it that authentic baked mac does, and cheese look. Here's my other question. Does it melt all the chocolate? No, you just have to be, I'm the magician here. I know, Taylor, so I know. Let, let I me work you. my magic, trust okay? You. So you take the torch and you just kind of lightly go over oh it, see? Gosh. And then it also gives it a nice little shine. And, yeah. Uh, I was asking, like you got pieces. like the mac and cheese, like this looks like it came <laughs> right out of the oven yes. and you know it's crazy I thought obviously this looks so realistic but I also mm -hmm. thought <laughs> plate was realistic too and I was about to like kind of take a bite and just like don't eat that yeah no, don't please, please don't. don't I mean I totally could make <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't for the segment, so. But <laughs> this is this is truly a work of art. Thank what you, you do is absolutely incredible to take Thank these so cakes much. and make them so realistic. So you are on the Netflix show. Yes. Is it a cake? Yes. How's that been post show? Now oh that my gosh. Have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little overwhelming. Um, all the response has been amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to say too much because some of them out there, including you, haven't watched the show list. yet, right? It's on my it's queue. On, I get it. I have a big list oh, on Netflix so as well. So, <laughs> um, but um, people were able to see my skills and what I do, and I've been receiving calls after calls That's and amazing. other great opportunities. So I'm truly grateful for Netflix, and I'm also grateful for the support of the community, right? Yeah. There's a lot of kids who's watching this show, and they bring people out to Nina Creole as yeah. well. So yeah, it's been great. I mm. love this. <laughs> I, I'm just so excited. We're going to wrap this early because we're going to cut into this for a grand reveal to see if it actually is a cake. <laughs> Nina says it is. We'll find out after this. Stay with us. Is it a cake or not? <laughs> My vote. I trust Nina good. with this. this is, he's smooth sometimes. Right. Sometimes. <laughs> That's, sometimes they, they pay me correctly. Yeah. Okay, so Nina, you cut into this. This is yes. the grant. I'm going to turn it. So well, don't we tell him see. she cut into it, Taylor. You just ruined the I'm whole just, thing. Did I ruin it's okay. It? No, it's okay. Grew Look it. at this. Look at Look at oh no! Oh. You just dropped your tree. But this is dense. Yes. You weren't kidding no. that it's thick. <laughs> that is a lot of cake and chocolate and everything else yes. in there. I'm indulged. I'm gonna eat this. Oh my gosh, Nina. Here, you, you, let's see. Who cut your own piece. Show with the, who said that you cut could? your own piece? Mm. Right? Nina, thank you. Oh, it's chocolate, so we have to make this. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Your piece is coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm mad. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. That was oh mine. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs>